the finger. Jordan. Hey and a wonderful day old school NBA fans. You know what time it is. Welcome back to NBA Basement, the channel with the very best of classic NBA basketball. In today's episode we will again take you way back to the golden age of NBA basketball. This match is a pure classic. You're gonna see tough defense, great set plays and amazing defense. So sit back and relax and enjoy the time travel. Let's go. Payton's going to force the shot in. Points. He had about four three-point shots last night. Hit the big three-pointer against Milwaukee to win it for him at the buzzer. Early offense, Kemp turns on a lot pass from Payton. Double pumps a job into the air. Laid it in. His foul that will go to the line. Murray rotating from the weak side. Clipped him for his first foul. And this is what the Clippers have to do all night long. Try and get the ball inside to Sean Kemp. Just a major advantage inside as he just throws the rookie Lamont Murray out the way. Sam Perkins steps in for Bill Cartwright as Kemp pops in the free throw. Five. Up come the Sonics. Rooney in the lineup. Mishandles a pass. Ball deflected by Sealy. Grabbed by Kemp. Runs the right baseline. Here he comes. Rubens. Right handed jam. The Rain Man throws it down emphatically. That is their Sonics horizon. Aaron's taking it at him right now. 24 20. 223 left in the first period of play. We'll be back on the Sonic Broadcasting Network. Sorry, go ahead. 29-26 to score. Clippers by three. Nine seconds remaining. Peyton Arks into the lane. Double team. Puts it outside. Perkins for a three. Hammers it down. Sonics have tied it. Flips it outside to Vaughn. Six on the shot clock for Lloyd. Four on the shot clock over to Richardson. Outside, fall away. Jay rainbows it up. Kicks off the iron twice. Grabbed by Perkins. Streaking out of Peyton. Spins to the glass. Lays it up and in. Yeah, now that's not Poole Richardson's fault. That's Gary Peyton is his about that outstanding range, but he's a standstill jump shooter. You got to make it put it on the floor and go someplace. 34-33. Clippers by one. Nice pass. Peyton to ask you. Turns as Ellis skids. Falling face first to the floor. Scoops one up that falls short. Massenberg with a rebound. Off to Poole Richardson. Darts across midcourt. Into the lane. Trying to pass off. Hit a Sonic in the leg. Grabbed by Trent. Lead pass. Gets it ahead to Gary. Darts to the glass. Which is right the left hand. And shovels it home. Classic a GP in effect with the nice little left hand. Point ring. Flips it cross court. Richardson will give it to Murray for a three ball. Missed it. Peyton chases after the rebound. Hesitates at midcourt. Spins by Murray. Into the lane. Feeds to Death. Left wide open to the glass. He will lay it up and in. Gary Payton showed great court vision in spotting Detlef Shrimp that time. Yeah, he spotted him early. He knew where he wanted to go all the way. Did the little spin move just to draw the defense with him. Right here he sees Detlef wide open. He's going to spin, draw the defense. I know where he is. Lay up. 53-44. Sonics take the nine-point lead. Great with the Shrimp between the rings. Detlef over to Payton in low. Kemp has a step on foot and will power it up and lay it in with the left hand. I like that. I want to see Sean use that left ball allow an NBA player to shoot an uncontested free throw. That's like a layup. 55-46. Feathering it low on the post up. Gary's got it. Yeah. Turn scores. Fouled. He will go to the line. That's good, good. Gary's taking the attitude that Pooh Richardson, you are much too small to guard me in the low post. I'm gonna see a nice little floating pass from Vincent Asu. Get it up high. Let Gary go and get it. Gets in the lane. Nice head fake. Gets everybody off their feet. Sealing outlaw and then finishes with the foul. 11 point Sonic lead. Gary dips at the knees and delivers. The Good idea. Somebody else is going to have to do something else. You don't want to go to that matchup. 12 point lead for the Sonics. 239 to go second quarter. Here's Peyton with it. Turns out two screens set by Kemp and Shrimp. Sean drops down to the baseline, gets it from Gary, powers up and scoops it home with a two handed jam. The great execution shot set the. And it will be Sonic Ball. Well, Is he also Is he on his own clothier business? Yeah, and I'm sporting one of the. Uh, I forgot my playbook ties that uh, he came out with a couple years ago. He sold a bunch of units of these ties. Again, bounding inbounds. Inside from Shrimp. Double pumps in midair. Drew the defender on his back. Malik Seeley fouled it. Kemp was able to lay it home. John with a little up fake and got Malik Seeley out of position. Nothing he could do. Best position there. All of a sudden, the man that was there is not there anymore. 65-59. Peyton into the lane. Had his delivery. Tapped away. 
came down with it, laid it up and in. The basket will count. And at the end of the half, the Sonics lead it 67 to 59. We'll be back with a recap in just a moment. Here in Sonics with the eight point lead to begin the third period. They had a 14 point spread. Back to our lob. Pete to Kemp. He will go to get it. Catch and jam. 20 points for the Rain Man. Yeah, that was kind of. The outlet pass to McMillan. Nate down the right side. Skips it to Peyton. Gets some space on the baseline. Runs. Richards in him with the left hand. Switches to the right. Whirls a 10 foot. Bot has 12. Again, he kind of showed it to Dunlip. Got him frozen. Then took the dribble on the jump. Eight point lead for the Sonics. Peyton outside up the shrimp pick. Open for the 20 footer. Strokes it home. Gary Peyton with 13. Yeah, Gary missed a shot. Looking for Dunlip. He comes to the ball. Has it on the baseline. Double team, nice skip pass over to Peyton, drives into the lane, Outlaw could not resist, went into the air to block the shot, goaltending the call, and Peyton gets the deuce, but a little clap, and who's out of 10 who says, no, 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 you're not getting away with that drive. Hey guys, now while you are watching this classic NBA content, please be so kind and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. It only takes a second for you, but for us this means the world. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the best of NBA basketball. 83 the score, 10 51 to go in the fourth period of play. And Gary Payton handles it outside. Court scoring to the baseline. Leads in. Hard bank from 10 up and in. Payton with 20 points. Three for Pooh, his third three pointer of the night. Four point Sonic lead. 7.43 left in the game. Flipper and Faithful are believing now. Payton doubled outside the back. He will raise with a three ball. And down the hatch it goes. Strike to strike, pass inside the bot, deflected, tapped outside by Vinny, ahead to a racing Gary Payton, into the lane, he'll switch it right to left hand and scoop it up and in. 26 for Gary Payton in the city is Larry Bird, the plays he's making out here are big time plays not normally seen by rookies. The Polish rifle, Mr. Basketball in South Dakota with a couple of hoops, four point lead, Gary runs into the lane, circles to the glass, lays it in to pull the Sonic to within two. 116-114, Sonics trailing by Deuce. Pass in low, mid-block right, Kemp spins, pulls up, and casts in a 12-foot hook right side. 31 for the Rain Man. A nice shot by Shonda. Good defensive sequence here, and you can force him into a terrible shot. Lankowski will bring it in, bounce to Vaughn in the corner. He gets off a good shot, and rimmed it short. Rebound to Perkins. Hands to Askew, head to Gary, lobs it ahead. The Rain Man will go to get it! And with one blue and motion, send it down with a jam, and on a boneheaded play, Tons Piatkowski and gets a technical foul. That is a boneheaded play. You can ill afford to run your mouth at the officials tonight. They've already kicked Deadlift Shrimp out midway through the fourth quarter of play. They're going to call a taunting foul on Sean Kemp. After the jam, he had words from Piatkowski. Yeah, the official right on top of the play again. We talked about it. The decision-making Sean has got to find a higher level of maturity, be able to control his emotions a little bit better. It's a different NBA now than it was a couple of years ago when you could get away with all that stuff. All right, we've got a timeout call, and we're 2.58 left. Technical foul on Kemp for taunting, 118-116. The Sonics by a deuce. And, I mean, just a great play to even catch the line. But here's the point. Here's the taunt. Here's the talking to. And you can see, <laughs> I'm not a lip reader, but he wasn't too kind in his comments to Piakowski. And I know it's, the, you know, just obvious taunting, gloating. And he probably could have got away with it right there, but now he continues it and keeps up. The running dialogue, the official right on. Seattle leading by two. Sealy for the tie, for the lead, a three air ball. Grabbed by McMillan ahead to Peyton. He will race to the glass and lay it up. No! Sealy from behind for the block. Askew the put back. No! Rebound deflected, grabbed by Bott. 15 seconds left. Up come the Clippers. Richardson pull up Jay. Got it! Tie game! Unbelievable play from Malik Sealy. Sprinting 94 feet. For the block on a breakaway lay-in from Peyton. And they come back and convert to tie the game. Oh, my goodness. As Gary Payton kind of casually goes in, doesn't know. Malik Sealy's following him for the nice block. Clean block, no goaltending. Here's Vinny with the follow. There's the Outlaw. Bothers the shot. Clippers get the ball back. Just great hustle. You know, you thought the game was on ice when you saw Gary going down uncontested. 
but no, and Pooh Richardson, he missed a couple earlier. He's not going to miss this one, knocks it down for the tie. Lose, maybe your two best jump shooters. Yep. Here's McMillan to Peyton. Leaps for the pass, deflection to the side, and go to get it. Backs down a much smaller wood. Backs him deep, turns, pivots, high hook over out by no tip jam by Kemp. They will rule it good. Kemp with a tip jam. 42 points for the Rain Man. Seattle's lead is three with one. And finally got very little offense left in there. Piakowski can fill it up, but he's not really that good at creating his own shot. Here's Gary. Watch the high bounce, and let's see where the ball is. Oh, okay, it was outside of the cylinder. It looked like a, a good non-call. You ask for a better look, Steve Stedman will supply you the Swami back in the mobile trailer. So that was it for today's video. We hope you had fun watching this classic NBA content of the golden age of NBA basketball. Make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this one. Hope to see you next time on NBA Basement.